Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kurana, your host on Tech Digest, and in this video, we answer frequently asked questions of the Sony Xperia Z3, which includes moving apps to SD card, problem of heating while creating 4K videos, does it heat while gaming, does it have support for USB OTG pen drives, how well is the gaming performance, will it get Android L, etc. We have done a series of videos on the Xperia Z3, which includes video review, reasons to buy, reasons to not buy. I'm leaving the links to a playlist in the description section below, so do check out the other videos as well. Let's get started with this one. The most common question that we have received around the Sony Xperia Z3 is whether you can move apps to SD card. This phone comes with 16 and 32 GB internal memory. The one we are testing is with 16 GB memory, which gives you around 11.57 GB of total space. Interestingly, it does not allow moving apps to the SD card. We have tried doing this with some of the apps which are installed like the Asphalt 8 and there is no option or button here which says move to SD card unlike some other phones that we have tested this on. And interestingly, when you are in storage setting, you move down and there is an option which says transfer data to SD card. When you hit here, you will not see applications listed here. You can move photos, videos and music to the SD card but you cannot move your applications to SD card. So while you are buying a Sony Xperia Z3 for yourself, make sure you get enough internal memory to install all the apps that you want to install because you cannot move apps to the SD card on a Sony Xperia Z3. Next question is how much user available memory is provided on the Sony Xperia Z3. This one is a 16 gigs model and comes with 11.57 GB of internal memory. On a 32 gigs model, you get approximately 23 to 24 GB of user available memory. So this is how much memory you get by default on the internal storage of the Sony Xperia Z3. You can expand the memory by adding a micro SD card of up to 128 GB. It comes with a micro SD card slot, but it does not allow you to move applications to the SD card. Next question is does it heat up while gaming? The answer is yes it does but it does not heat up so much that it becomes uncomfortable to use this phone. It comes with a Snapdragon 801 chipset with a 2.5 GHz quad core CPU. It gives a 330 GPU and it does perform really well when it comes to gaming. But at the same time it does generate some amount of heat but it is not uncomfortably hot. It is still usable and gives you a good user experience while you are gaming on the Sony Xperia Z3. Next question is how good is the battery life on the Sony Xperia Z3? This one gets a battery of 3100 milliamp and gives you a decent battery life. Let me give you an idea of how much it is delivering to me. So after around one day and 10 hours in usage it is still giving me one more remaining day because I am not using it very aggressively. This phone is on for last one day and 10 hours at around 35% battery level right now. I am using it mostly as my secondary phone. It's mostly idling with 3G data as well as Wi-Fi on all the time. It is uh, not being used heavily sparingly for checking emails browsing internet etc and gives me around two days on such pattern. In case you use it heavily, it should still last for one complete day without any hiccups. Next question is how good is the network reception and the call quality on the Xperia Z3? The call quality and network reception is better compared to the Z2. The call quality certainly is better. The noise cancellation works better. There is secondary noise cancelling mic on the top. The call quality is good and the signal reception is good and it also gives you clear audio while you are talking on this phone and good 3G reception speeds. Next question is does it support wireless display and the answer is yes it does. It comes with DLNA protocol and you can connect it to standard wireless displays and connect it to your large screen TVs easily. To use the wireless display you need to go into settings wireless settings, Xperia connectivity and here you will find all the options for screen mirroring or casting your screen onto televisions or devices like a Miracast dongle. Next question is does it have a Gorilla Glass? 
आंसर इज नो बट येस इट डज हैव अ शैटर प्रूफ ग्लास सोनी बिल्ड्स दी जेड सीरीज विद वाटर रेजिस्टेंस इट इज आई पी सिक्सटी एट सर्टिफाइड इट गेट्स अ वेरी टफ एंड ग्लास एट फ्रंट एज वेल एज रियर सो इट इज नॉट दैट डेलीकेट इट कम्स विद स्क्रैच रेजिस्टेंस एज वेल एज शैटर रेजिस्टेंस सो इफ यू ड्रॉप इट एक्सीडेंटली इट विल नॉट ब्रेक दैट ईजिली इट डज कम विद अ टफ ग्लास बट इट इज नॉट गोरेला ग्लास Does it support USB OTG pen drive? And the answer is yes, it does. Let me give you a quick demo of the same. So you can connect any USB OTG cable or a USB OTG pen drive just like this. And once you attach it, it will be detected. It says preparing USB storage. And soon after that, it is easily accessible from the file commander. You can go to the storage, and you can see external USB storage here, which will show you all the files stored on the pen drive. You can watch videos, movies, listen to music directly stored on this pen drive. You need not transfer any files to the phone to access it from the pen drive. Will Sony Xperia Z3 get Android L update? Well, we do not have official answer here, but I would say yes. From my experience in the past, Sony Xperia Z series phones are upgraded to one or two versions ahead. of what they are launched with this one is launched with android 4.4.4 kitkat which is the latest version and an upgrade to android l is very natural we should expect android l rolling out on the sony xperia z3 after it is released officially by google next question is how good is the gpu and gaming performance on the sony xperia z3 The Nina Mark 2 benchmarking utility gives it a 59.6 which is close to a perfect score with the Adreno 330 GPU running this full high definition display with ease which means that this phone is capable of handling almost any sort of game. Do check out our detailed review which contains elaborate gameplay demo of the Asphalt 8 Frontline Commando 2 and Dead Trigger 2 where this phone performs superb when it comes to gaming. I'm leaving direct links to the playlist in the description section as well as towards the end of the video so do check out the other video with the gaming review as well Next question is can it record 4K videos Yes it can record 4K super high resolution videos just go to the setting here and hit on the 4K video it takes you to the 4K mode and now you can record 4K videos However the phone gets hot while using the 4K video recording mode and it also consumes a lot of battery so record it only when it is required i would not suggest you using it in hot weather because when the temperature rises the 4k mode actually produces a lot of heat while recording the video and it may close the camera app and you may not be able to record 4k videos when the ambient temperatures are very high this brings us to the end of the frequently asked question series on the sony xperia z3 If you want to purchase a Sony Xperia Z3 for yourself, I'm leaving some direct links in the description section below as well as on your screen so do check out the links for the best deals on the Sony Xperia Z3. We have done a series of videos with the reasons to buy, reasons to not buy, review of Sony Xperia Z3 and many other videos. I'm leaving a link to the playlist of all these videos in the description section so do check out that link and I'm also leaving a link on your screen towards the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below for more such videos and latest video updates from Intellect Digest make sure you hit the subscribe button below this is your host Rohit Khurana signing off thanks for watching